Hello everyone, Rika here, and welcome back to The Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark. So today we are going to be doing Funfair Dismissal. Blackouts across the city have led us to Vince's Funfair, where the surge seems to be emanating from. Let's start the investigation. Funfair Dismissal. <clears throat> oh, oh god! Oh, oh no! Please, kill it with fire! Oh no! I don't want to go in Pennywise's mouth. No, thank you. Um, where's the I'm not taking this case button? Uh, oh jeez. Okay, we're here. Now to see if this place is where the power surges that are causing blackouts across the city are coming from. Looks like the trail has gone dead. We better check the next place on our list. Did you not... What did you think just happened a moment ago? What? Did something happen when I blinked? Blinked? We don't have eyes! Okay, so... I wasn't entirely 100% paying attention. In my defense, that's more a you thing. <clears throat> right, sure. Oh, let's talk to the guy who owns it himself, Mr. Vince. Is this the dude who talks in really weird ways? Detective, officer, what a... Yeah, oh no, I hate doing this guy's voice lines. They're so hard. Because my brain does not, like, comprehend the sentence, so it makes it super hard for me to read. But I'll do my best. Here we go. What a white rice high rise. What? <sighs> what a white rice, nice, high rise, surprise. What flings brings you all the Shakespeare way out here? Okay, so he's trying to say what a nice surprise. What brings you all the way out here? Okay. You know what? Uh, okay. I, I think this guy's funny, though. I I'll give him credit. He's pretty funny. Uh, still at the rhyming slang, I see. It's my bread and butter. Uh. Uh. That was not a good rhyme. Yeah. Uh. We're here about the power surges. They're causing blackouts across the city. Oh, you're here about the shower splurges? Power surges. Uh. That some roast beef. Uh. Or that's some roast beef. A relief. Uh, I thought you were here about the hissing seagull. Missing people. <laughs> Did you say missing people? No, I said hissing seagull. But you meant missing people. Oil seed locksmith, I plead the fifth. We should investigate, Dooley. It's never just have a nice day with you, is it? Hair dye. I'm not translating that one for you. <laughs> uh, okay. Detective Fish, great to see you here. Brought the family to the fun fair, eh? Uh, to it, yes. Into it, no. It's pleasant to look at, but little Shelly is already getting overexerted by being here. Can we go in now? She's at it again. Off the bloody handle! <laughs> keep it up, Shelly! Just keep it up, and so help me God, I'll take... I'll take out the taser! <laughs> Why is she like this? Are we to blame? Did we do something in a past life? Ah! Are, are you gonna be okay, kid? Yeah. They just have high-stress jobs. They're... They'll tire themselves out in a minute. Then we'll go into the round, or 
or then we'll go on the roundabout ponies. <laughs> the roundabout ponies. That's cute. Jump leads might be useful in an elect uh, electricity based mystery. Jump lead? Is that like jumper cables? Oh, that is jumper cables. Okay. Are they called jump leads? I thought they were just called jumper cables. Maybe that's just me being American. <clears throat> Enter Carnival. What's going on here? The elephant broke down. That's it? You're gonna try to deliver that sentence like it's perfectly normal? Normal enough here. We don't have an, uh, an animal mechanic. You know what? Fair. Fair! Seems to have been overloaded in one of the power surges. If I want past it, I need to find a way to replace the burnout wiring and then restart the motor. Oh, so that's what we need the jumper cables for. Power junction. There's a warm glow coming from this, from the mains box since the last surge. Not sure I want to touch it. Okay, well, can we go... Looks like we can go both ways. What's with the mechanical animal? Vince has gone vegan, so we released all the animals. Oh, that's where the lions in the park came from. Makes sense. There are lions in the park? Why didn't you report it? They weren't causing any harm. They were just lying around. But seriously, I, I was too scared to tell anyone. Me too, Dooley. Me too. Actually, scratch that. I'm probably the stupid kid who would have gone over and tried to play with the lions. I'm a Darwin Award waiting to happen when it comes to animals. Let's just be fair. Uh, if we want past the yellow- oh, right. So, no, we can't go that way, but we should be able to go this way. Okay. Ducky. The duck- wait, that's a real duck! That- no! You can't tell me that's one of those little rubber ducks that- that- that people, uh, like, they shoot or they pick up and then they have the- the, the color on the bottom of the stuff and you know what I'm talking about! Y'all have been to carnivals, you know! You know! That's not one of those ducks, that's a real duck! Ooh, duckies! That's all you have to say- THERE IS LITERALLY A REAL DUCKER! Okay, fine. Maybe I'm overreacting. Get the funny colored one! It looks tasty! It looks angry. Fancy a go, then? Right now we're on a mission to fix an elephant. Lick an elephant? Nice one. I recommend some applesauce from experience. What? No! Fix! Fix! Not lick! Why would I want to lick an elephant? Oh, that sounds... Mm, no. Gross. Blech. Blech. Mm. How does one end up working at a carnival? Same way one ends up working anywhere. You give up on your dreams and hand in an application. Oh, Mitski. I agree. I agree. Is that... Wait. Is she... What is she holding? Is that some sort of, like... Like... Rod with, like, a... Like, a crook on the end of it? Is that what they're called? The little curved... Hooky things? Uh... I thought she was holding like like one of those little BB guns, but that does not look like a BB gun anymore. That was more real than I was expecting. Welcome to the real world, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Later, Gator. I like her. Can we add her to the team? Like we we need to like give Mitski a job. Like she needs to come work for the Dark Side Detective. Come on. Next game, replace Dooley with Mitski. I'm a, I'm gonna sign up for that one. Tin Can Alley. Let's wait. Is there anything else we can do here? Okay, no. It looks like I got everything. Uh, this bear, this stupid bear, is everywhere. I I feel like it's almost like trying to to find the pineapple in a psych episode. It's like, in each Dark Side Detective episode, where's the bear? The stuffed bear? Or maybe a real bear? There's also a Barney doll. Let's see, what else is here? That's not a toucan! That looks more like 
like a parakeet. This guy is very happy to be here. He is super duper happy to be here. Alright, um, let's talk to the game man. Uh, roll up, roll up. Win a gift for a loved one. Happiness guaranteed. Go on then, give me a go. You might have something useful here. One ball coming up. If you can knock over my cans, you'll get your pick of my prizes. Okay. So, let's give it a go, shall we? We, are we both throwing it? Uh, no, maybe I'll just do it. Hey, that shot was right on the money. Ha <laughs> ha Hmm. Do I get to do it again? Maybe I just need to throw it harder? It's no use. I'm not strong enough. Huh. Okay. So there's a robot. Hmm, does that guy work? Uh, he works alright. Has all the chirps and whistles you could want from an automated killing machine. A what? A normal, non-threatening robot! Maybe... Maybe I could use the circuits from this to rewire the elephant. So we need to win the robot. Is that what I'm getting? That right there is the toy of a green... Arakari. Sorry, that toucan's... <laughs> Sorry, that's too confusing for me. Oh, McQueen, get out of here. I agree, Dooley. It, you're better than that. I agree, Dooley! <clears throat> Octopus. Octopus, stop being so greet. <laughs> nope. I'm not finishing that sentence. Mm -mm. No. All right. Octopus, stop being so greedy. One push should be enough for anyone. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Trash panda, so a raccoon? Is that a purple raccoon? I washed it with the octopus by mistake. Why did you need to wash it? It's new, surely. Yeah, but it got into the trash, get it? Raccoon? Trash? Heh? 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 Ugh. I found it in a bin. Yeah. What's with, uh, what's this guy grinning about? What does he know that I don't? Squid. They're selling this crap. You've got to be squidding me. Eh? Eh? <laughs> My kids made that. Oh. Doesn't make it less rubbish, but it does mean we can't point out that it's rubbish. Okay, alright. Yeah, you got it. Child labor laws have changed a lot in the last century. We actually have no clear idea what dinosaurs looked like. While this friendly purple one has been popularized by television and are admittedly plausible based on the skeleton findings, any number of variations are possible. They could have been chubbier, spinier, had feathers, they could have been dragons, and they used dragon magic to make us forget. I like Dooley. I like Dooley. Yeah, that's what I believe since I was a kid. I knew dragons were the real dinosaurs all along. I mean, if you want proof, if you want proof, look at an ostrich skeleton. And then put a T-Rex skeleton right next to it. And those tiny, itty bitty little arms. The ostriches have them too. So does that mean that T-Rexes actually had wings? Probably. They were probably dragons. Let's just be fair. All right. Now that I've gone on my dinosaurs were dragons rant. Let's go. What? You said any number of variations were possible. He did say that, Dooley. He did say that. Good job. Pink Teddy. This guy again. Dooley, do you have any holy water on you? Uh, don't hold out on me, Dooley. 
I didn't bring enough to share. Do you remember what we saw in the retirement home? The power of friendship? Uh, the demon! If you wanted holy water, you should have brought it your own! <sighs> I'm on to you, bear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Dooley. Oh, Dooley. Oh, I want to cuddle uh, this guy up so bad. Okay. You look glum for a guy at a fun fair. Well, I know I'm a comp... Well, I, you know, I'm a competition guy. I enter competitions. Lots of them. Law of numbers. You enter enough, you're gonna win. I have a stamp with my info to speed entering up, you know? No. An auto dialer and a lot of P.O. boxes. I know all the tricks, all of them. I'm always winning stuff like boxes of chapsticks, want one? Or posh baby strollers or tickets to seances, right? And, well, I won 97 entry tickets to this place. And let me tell you, it stopped being fun somewhere in week three. I've even gotten an attendance warning from work. Why don't you just bring friends or give them out or just not use them? My man, that breaks the code. You win a thing, you gotta use it. Otherwise, you're robbing pe you're robbing somebody else. Why do you think I drove here in a child's pram? Huh? Wait a second. Is this the guy who was giving out the weird food at the museum? Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs! Uh... Oh no, this is the eggnog guy! Okay. Hey Norman, I guess the eggnog business is seasonal. Nah, mate. Somebody took all my milk. Nobody wanted to drink just eggs, so I was let go. Tried to tell him that a food vendor is for life, not just for Christmas. But they was not having none of it. Uh, uh sorry to hear that. No worries. Thankfully, the carnival came to town. Mama says, when God closes the door, he sets up a circus. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's what happens, but you know what? Sure. One hot dog, please. What flavor do you want? Whoa, 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 excuse me? Flavors of hot dogs? I thought hot dogs had one flavor, and that was crap. <laughs> what do you have? Vegan. That's a flavor? Probably. Want any sauces with that? Uh, no thanks. Good. Mama Mama was all out, so I just have empty bottles. Gonna refill them in the nearby cafe in a bit. I bought a soda there once, so I got free refills for life. I don't think that's how the- Shh, 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 shh. Here's your dog, mate. This is just a bun. Well, it's all vegan here, isn't it? I raided Mom's fridge, but she only had meat. I figured, who'd even notice? You're a detective, and you didn't even notice. What? I just called you on it. Mate, it's a hot dog bun, not a telephone. This guy. Tell me about it. How's Agnes? Mom's good. Her arsenal microwave stew business... Stu only lives twice, is taking off. She got employees and everything. She's even branching out into catering weddings. Who knew Stu would be so popular? Mama knew. That's why she set up the business. Weren't you listening? <sighs> Norman reminds me of someone. The clown tent. Oh, no! No, no! No, 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 no! I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the channel before. I don't like clowns. Clowns scare me. <laughs> I didn't know. Mm-mm. Uh, clown car. Hmm. I could use this to jumpstart the elephant if I could find the keys. 
Okay. Well, is there anything in here? Why is there a man in the animal cage? Mall bot 5000. Warning, do not feed the criminals. What are you doing here? I thought you worked in the mall. Mallbot wanted to follow the uh, follow dreams of being entertainer. First stop, Clown College. Second stop, Hollywood. Then Mallbot takes over world. All shall bow before Mallbot. Alright, what's up, Tam? Wait, wasn't he one of the guys who was in the jail cell in the first game? Behind bars again, Tam. Tam was arrested for trying to steal candy from a baby. Easy as Tam was promised. Tam feels lied to. Sorry to hear that, Tam. Can I borrow your knife? Will Tam get it back this time? Last time you took the knife and didn't give it back. Of course. Well, all right then. Well, you might not get it back. You are in clown prison after all. Tam feels double lied to. Couldn't we get what we need from this bot? I'm not pulling out this guy's mechanical heart. I'm not a big gear hunter. <laughs> a big gear hunter. Oh, you're funny, McQueen. You're funny. Looks how s look how small these cages are. Not fit for animals. Hey, Tim has feelings, you know. All right. Well, I guess let's go into the court. How does the defendant plead? <laughs> the right and honorable Judge Doody. <laughs> His name is Doody. <laughs> Loudly and often, Your Honor. They put a laugh track in. Okay, that's funny. Court is in session. And until I throw the book at this guy, it's staying that way. Then throw it already. Enough clowning around. I've lost it. Where? It was last seen on the hook in the nook by the brook until a wandering duck and utter crook took the book and now we don't know where to look. As a result, I'm terribly shook. Oh, I do hope you understand this gobbledygook. My, I'm, my brain's... Ah! Okay, so he said something about a duck and a crook. Isn't that what those canes with hooks on them are called? Aren't they called crooks? Back, are we still recording? Still recording? Cool. My controllers keep dying on me. I swear, these things don't have batteries that last at all. Ugh. I keep them charged. I keep them charged. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, uh, where was I? The crook. The cane with the hook. And the duck. The duck this. It was a real duck. <laughs> okay. I know what I'm thinking. Anyway, let's talk to the defendant. What are you accused of? I was... My client is accused of clowning on the job. But... But he's a clown. That's what I said. We clowns take the business of clowning very seriously. Clowns have no business clowning around on or off the clock. Not even next to or under the clock. No clowning around in the vicinity of clocks or clocking around the vicinity of clowns. It's so serious, you'll notice the lack of badumch laugh tracks, or otherwise comical sound effects here. Comedy is no laughing matter. Not to clowns. <sighs> Leaky bridges. Is that your car outside? Yep. But I can't talk right now. I'm busy defending this clown. Oh, Mary Payson. That's funny. Mary Payson. That's great. There's the laugh track. Why is there greasy face paint smeared all over this? The courtroom sketch artist ran out of paper, and he just ran out. Want to want the job? No. Thank you. Okay. The key. 
Hey, are you... Hey, are you trying to take my place in choir? What? Because those are my keys, and you're trying to steal them. Hands off! Oh, okay. Hands off, you say? Okay, sorry. I'll stop threatening people with a knife. <laughs> um, alright, well... The duck... Oh! Look at that! Hmm. She was holding this when she vanished. I guess it's evidence now. Alright! So, we're gonna use this on the duck! No! On the... On the... On the duck! Here goes nothing! No! You! I knew you were a real bird! No chance, Fuzz! Rude! And surprising! Well, not that surprising, I guess. Okay... Oh, do I distract him with the bread? If I just give it to him, how will I get the book back? Maybe he'll trade? No chance, dum-dums! Oh, it's Howard the Duck! It's Howard the Duck, guys. Probably most of you won't even get that reference. Uh, no... Okay, baited hook. And all that flapping around must have left you hungry. What's that? What's that you have there? Quack. Got the judge's book. Entrapment! Entrapment! I'm calling my lawyer! You stole a law book, Howard. What did you expect? Alright. Here, throw your book at him. Thanks, stranger. Now, to put an end to this farce. By the powder infested in me, mostly this wig, I declare you guilty! Ow! I declare this case closed. Court dismissed. Cool. Can I have your key now? Can I have the keys? Well, I don't know, and I've only just earned the money to pay it off by winning this case. But you have a face that's as honest as it is featureless, so sure. Yay! Alright. Can you just jumpstart the elephant? Oh. Here. Let's drive this over to the elephant. One second, everyone out! What the? Shuffling sounds. Well, there you go. Okay, you can take the car now. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Clip this and voila, we have a power source. No need to get all French about it. Okay. Till I have... Oh. Um... Well, I don't... Hmm. Stop taking things from the car! We still haven't replaced the nightstick the, from last season. <laughs> Did I ever mention that I don't like clowns? I feel like this is going to be an unpleasant case for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I need to get the robot, but how? Is there something I can do with the knife and the throwing ball? No? Who are you all? Well, I'm Mr. Rubs. This here is Unstoppable Runs. Too Many Eyes. Mr. Dirt. Into D2. And Connie Sir. Hi, hello, honk. Yeah, pleased to meet you. Uh, pleased to meet you, mate. Phil, don't honk at that man. Uh, what were you doing in there? I thought that was the lawyer's car. It is, but it's also our office. We're clown lawyers. 
His car's your office? And our home! I don't know why it sounded so enthusiastic saying that. It's not a sign of success, is it? We're having difficulty getting clients since the city let us go. For some reason, people don't want to hire a law firm of... <laughs> the law firm of Payson rubs dirt into your eyes and runs <laughs> <clears throat> to represent them in court. I wonder why you have too many partners. Just, just, you know what? Just call it the law firm of Payson and take off everybody else and then market Mary Payson. Maybe even give him a television show. You know what? You know what? Hire me. Hire me. I could be, like, the perfect, like, like, thing for your law firm. Like, just, just, just let, let me have my creative way with your law firm, and it'll be, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'll give you a whole new image. Whole new image. It'd be great. Wait, no. I hear it now. <laughs> there you go. They figured it out. Okay. Um. Well, I need... Okay, well, what else? Imagine the size of the egg that monster hatched from. Yeah, it most certainly is impressive. Very bells and whistles. Bells and whistles? It's a duck! Can we throw the ball at the duck? Okay. What else? Wait. That's not that big of a big top, is it? More of a medium top. I don't understand why anybody would, by choice, leave the ground that dark... What dark secrets are they running from? We're going to end up there, aren't we? I'd imagine so. Alright. Hmm. Wait. The bin. You're not gonna make me search all the bins again this season, are you? Well, you know what? I've said this before, and I will say it again! I am literally the one who looked through every spittoon in West of Loathing! You don't think I would make you dig through trash if I made a stick figure cowboy dig through spittoons? Just saying! Uh, wait. Seems to... That depends if you work for the Health and Safety Board. Because if you do, those dried eggs and cream stains were part of the uh, hot dog making process. Ew, gross. That was different. What? I don't understand what he's saying that about. I love the petting zoo. I hope there are tigers and spiders and all sorts. You want to pet that stuff? Uh, no way, wait. Is that what a petting zoo is for? Yeah. What did you think a petting zoo was for, Dooley? Uh, huh. Well, let's double check the time. Yo, know, I could end it here, and then when I figure out what I need to do, I can, uh, come back. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And just remember, everything blue is awesome. Rika, signing out.